And Ponton explains our area's impact on protecting our national security. Military leaders say China and Russia are increasing their presence in the Atlantic, and that's why there's a need for a new NATO headquarters based in Norfolk. Both have increased their presence in the Atlantic region from the Arctic Circle to the South Pole, and that requires a proactive approach. Today, military officials held a ceremony marking the NATO headquarters becoming fully operational. The headquarters allowing the U.S. military to work with allies in defending against foreign adversaries in the Atlantic Ocean. Being fully operational means we can do our mission that we are assigned. And the military's top officer came aboard the USS Kearsarge at Naval Station Norfolk to mark the occasion. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, says the North Atlantic Treaty Organization is still important to protecting America. The United States does not fight wars alone. We have an incredible network of allies and partners around the world. This new NATO headquarters is the first on American soil and military officials say is key to protecting the Atlantic. This is representative of what is going to be needed in the future to maintain the deterrence, maintain great power peace and prevent great power war. General Milley warned about future military technologies and their potential impacts on war. He says the country who discovers them first and fully utilizes them will have a leg up in a war comparing the situation to World War II. If we don't get there firstest with the mostest and we don't put the pedal to the metal and do this right over the next 10 or 15 years, we are condemning a future generation to what happened 76 years ago. That's why the military says this new headquarters is so important. Our mission is to prepare for every possible crisis or situation that could develop throughout the Atlantic region so that the alliance has options in both forces and how to employ them. And now NATO says it's up for the task. At Naval Station Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.